Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 13 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we have been seeing the voucher type configuration for purchase voucher and also sales voucher. So today in this video, let us explore two more options under simple configuration for voucher type of sales. Let's go to tally and explore these options. We are in the sales voucher. Now let us explore more options under F12 configuration. So I'm going to press F12 configuration. Now in the last session, we understood the option of provide additional description for stock item. And by enabling this, we also understood the advantage and usage of this option. In today's session, let us explore it another option, which is worn on negative stock balance. Now this option by default, it is going to be set as yes. Let us understand the usage of this negative stock balance. So while invoicing, if the quantity that you are selecting in the invoice is more than the quantity that is available in stock in your books of account, then tally is going to give you a warning stating that there is going to be a negative stock of X numbers. For example, let us say you have one number in stock and while invoicing or while billing, let's say you select that item and then you select the quantity as two numbers. The moment you select the quantity as two numbers, tally is going to give you a warning saying that this item is going to have a negative stock of minus one. So let us now go back to the sales voucher and see the effect of this warning of negative stock balance. So this option is yes. So I'm going to press control. Let us pass an invoice. So I'm going to select a party called India Mart. I'm selecting the sales ledger. I'm going to press space bar and then we will see the list of item. And also if you notice, tally is going to give you the available stock against each item. So let's say that I am selecting this stock item called HP monitor 32 inches and I'm going to press enter. Now this is where we understood in the last session the advantage of having additional description for stock item. So I'm going to enter here and we saw in the list the quantity available is only one number. Just in case the user is not noticing the quantity and if the user is trying to say that he is going to bill two numbers, the moment you enter two numbers, tally is going to now give you this warning and it says that you had stock of one number in your books of account. But whereas now you are trying to invoice for two numbers, then the final balance of the stock will now turn into negative stock, which is going to be minus one number. So this is the option and this option is very useful, especially when you are doing the sales invoice. Let us now explore the other option under F12 configuration. So I'm going to press F12 configure and let us understand this option and its usage. So the option is use voucher number as bill reference for bill allocation. Now this option is going to be yes by default. And this option is available only under the sales voucher type under F12 configuration. This option will not be available in your purchase voucher. So the option says use voucher number as bill reference for bill allocation. Now the option is yes here. Let us keep this option as it is and I'm going to press control A, pass an invoice and first understand what does it mean that you want to have voucher number as bill allocation. Let me enter the reference number as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Enter. And I'm going to select the same party, India Mart. I'm going to select my sales voucher. I'm going to press space bar. And I'm going to select this item. And I'm going to say I'm selling one number. So enter, enter, accept. 
Now the Billwise screen opens and by default Tally takes it as new reference. Just notice now when I press new reference, Tally is considering the sales voucher number 29 and it is not considering my reference number that I entered as 1234.56. Tally is picking up this voucher number because we have set the option to take the voucher number as bill allocation reference. Now let us go back to F12 configure and then let's say that you don't want voucher number as your bill allocation reference and then we will see what is the change in the behavior of billwise detail allocation for that particular invoice. I'm going to press F12 configure and now I'm going to say use voucher number as bill reference for bill allocation. I'm going to come here and then I'm going to say no and I'm going to press control A. Now let us see what happens this time under the billwise subscreen. Again I'm going to enter the same reference number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Enter. Now we come to the billwise detail. So again tally gives you new reference and when I enter here you will now notice the tally is not considering the voucher number as the reference number but whereas it is now taking the reference number field the information that you have entered. I hope these options would be of help for your organization. So you can make use of these options as and when it is required by you in your organizations. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.